One-year-old Jan Luca is getting a well baby exam here at Salt Lake County Clinic. Parts of it he doesn't like very much. It's incredibly important. That Dr. We Wendy Hobson Rohr says regular care is important for kids, and kids with insurance get more care. So if they have insurance of some type, which would be if it's government sponsored by Medicaid or CHIP, they'll come much more frequently than if they're uninsured and don't have any coverage. For millions of kids, like Jan Luca and his sister Filardia, insurance costs are paid by the Children's Health Insurance Program, called CHIP for short. It pays for families who make too much to qualify for Medicaid, but too little to afford insurance. The Obama administration likes the CHIP program, and the Affordable Care Act won't change it very much. The big change is to get more kids like Jan Luca here into the program. Now, just over 8 million children are on CHIP, but there are almost 5 million more children who are eligible for CHIP but haven't signed up. The Obama administration wants to get every eligible child onto CHIP. All children should be on an insurance program. Now, CHIP costs are shared by federal and state government. The Affordable Care Act says the federal government will pay more than 90 percent of all costs. That will encourage states to recruit more kids onto CHIP and the federal government will help pay for aggressive recruitment. The Obama administration estimates it will cost $113 billion from 2012 to 2020 to get all kids insured. Not an insignificant amount of money. But Utah Governor Gary Herbert notes well, Affordable Care Act cost estimates have gone up a lot already, and in the past, Government health care costs have been off by as much as 10 times. I hope we're not off by tenfold on the Affordable Care Act. If we are, we're in deep doo-doo. Everyone believes health care is good for kids, but some people still doubt whether the Affordable Care Act is the best way to get that care. Rod Decker, Salt Lake City.